Hi, we're a team of senior biomedical engineers, and today we'll be showing you an activity about the heart. In this activity, you'll be building your own heart pump using a jar, balloon, straws, and water. Once your heart pump is created and partially filled with water, you will be able to recreate how your heart pumps blood throughout your body. The water in this activity mimics the blood in your body. The straws represent the arteries and veins, and the balloon represents how the heart pumps. As you complete this activity, activity think about why your heart makes noises. Have you noticed your heart rate changing in different situations? Throughout your lifetime, your heart can beat approximately 2.5 billion times. Each time your heart beats, it sends blood throughout your body, transmitting oxygen and important nutrients. By building a hands-on heart pump, you'll get a better chance to understand how your heart works each and every day. The heart has two pumping systems, one on the right and one on the left. The right side of the heart carries deoxygenated blood from the veins into the lungs. This is where the blood picks up the oxygen and gets rid of the carbon dioxide. The blood is then carried from the lungs to the left side of the heart and the oxygenated blood is carried by the arteries to all necessary parts of the body. For this activity, you'll need scissors, a jar with water, two straws, tape, a toothpick, a balloon, and a bowl to catch the water. Cut the neck of the balloon where the balloon begins to widen and set the neck part aside. Stretch the remaining balloon over the jar opening as tightly as you can. The flatter the balloon surface, the better. Using the tip of a skewer or a toothpick, carefully poke two holes one inch apart near opposite ends of the balloon surface. Stick the long part of a straw through each hole. The straw should create a tight fit so no air can get around the straw. Bend the straws downward. Tape one straw shut. Place your model next to a pan or bowl to catch the pumped water. Gently press the middle of the balloon surface and observe what happens to the water in the jar. The pump you have filled can now move water from the jar into the pan, similar to how the heart pumps blood throughout the body. The water was not able to go back down the straw because the cut end of the balloon acts as a valve. This acts similar to the heart pumping blood throughout the body. The pump shows how a chamber and valve work together. The heart contains four separate chambers, each separated by a valve. Now try taking the tape off of the straw and pump the water again. Did you notice anything different? You probably saw the water going back down the straw as you pumped your heart model. Without the tape, there's nothing stopping the water from going backwards down the straw. Your heart must have valves separating each chamber to make sure that the, water, the blood in the heart is moving in the correct direction throughout the body. Once complete with the activity, you can dump the water out of the jar and leave it to dry. You can throw away the remaining balloons, straws, and skewers. At the beginning of the activity, I asked, why does the heart make noises? Now that you've completed the activity, you probably have a better understanding of why that is. The heart makes those sounds because the blood is rushing into the chambers and being pushed out through the valves that we have. Those sounds that you hear are those valves opening and closing. Thank you for participating in this activity. We hope you enjoyed learning about the heart.